Welcome to Making Babies with Mike B. <laughs> we are in season 115. Just ticked over in and zone a world apart. What are we a part of? Like, what is like? What, we're a world apart, but like, what what are we separated from? Necessarily, that part I missed. A world apart. Does that mean that from other settlers? That's why we have a big chunk of land here. That's all ours. Is that what it is? It's gotta be, right? What does this thing do? <gasps> it makes it bigger. <laughs> We're learning all kinds of new stuff. Look at this. Uh, so uh, last time, last episode, previously on uh, this ep this series. Um, we're hitting the 130 mark, and we're like, we're liking it, we're liking it. We're water's going back up, we're liking that too. We cranked up the food thing, so that way we're not like constantly redlining. We have lots of food just in case something catastrophic happens, and we end up losing like half of our food supply. It ain't a problem anymore. Our people are happy, and that's fine. There's an expedition going out. The catastrophe showed where we made our mistakes. Progress is a path that leads astray. My visions have shown me a different place. Let's join forces and heal. It's the only path there is. Will you support us, or will you oppose us? All right. So did I did I, did I literally just say something catastrophic, and this happens? The prophet, the prophet is gonna say this. Guess what? We're gonna pay the prophet because that was just too that was too spooks, too spooky for me. Uh, let's see. What does he want? Oh, he wants uh, river coal. Okay, not food though. Ooh. I have lots of coal. Oh, dude, I have tons of scrap. Hell yeah, take the scrap. Uh, not all of it though, but just take like some. Uh, let's see, wood. I know we're doing good on wood. No, we're not doing great on plastics and coal. We're doing okay. Ooh, yikes. Really? That's the way it's going to be? Boy, they really want plastics. Coal, we could get it back. Um, we had an incident that happened a few seasons ago. I don't know if that's impacting that. Let's raise this up. Oh, man. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Let's raise that a little bit. Give me a little more scrap. That's fine. Uh, pay tribute. I there you go. I may be blind, but my people say that what you're giving is a lot. I hope for your sake that you'll soon follow us. Yeah, dude. Totally. Let me call my buddy over here. Building. The roof is partially collapsed. Although the sign in front looks like the one we had on the doors in the medical ward back in the end zone. Could be worth taking a look inside. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. Let's see. Uh, clear yourselves a path and get in there. But there's still uh, medicine and other useful stuff lying around here. Door looks solid. We could also try getting in through the roof. Continue. Uh, front door. Continue. Success! We jimmy the door and are standing in what looks like a waiting area. Lots and lots of stools. There are two rooms here and a stairway down to the basement, except that the stairs are blocked by the rubble from the collapsed roof. One room must be where the patients were treated. The other just seems to be full of files. Good thing we brought along someone who could make head or tail out of all those files. That's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's go through all those files of books. A whole bunch of stuff lying around. But luckily, we can read. <laughs> Action points. Spend. One settler. So those old files barely readable anymore and full of useless information about the old little aches and pains people used to have. If the only problem we had is a stiff neck, what a life. But at least we found a wide-ranging uh, medical book. Still promising. Helpful. Good thing we know our very, we have our very own Miss, Mr. Smarty Pants with us. I uh, wouldn't have spotted it otherwise in all those files. All right. Wide-ranging medical book. Uh, so this option is completed. Let's go back to the treatment room. I guess nothing's been looting here, so we got some medicine. Oh, we got some iodine. Ooh. Yeah, it's the first time getting that, actually. Let me see. Is there anything else? Oh, dude, don't tell me that's not all, all it is. Uh, front door, roof. Oh, we 100%. Okay, let's bring it all back then. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. We can't really bring everything back. We have to do this in multiple turns here. Expedition rash. We can take that down a little bit. Bring the iodine tablets. Oh, they don't really weigh that much. Look at that. Perfect. And we can bring back how much of this? Oh, psh. Fine. Uh, loot return. Bags are back. We're ready. All right, cool. So not what I was looking for, unfortunately. I mean, you know, we wanted a... Uh, you know, some scientist science stuff that we get from expeditions, but maybe that's just something that occurs uh, randomly, maybe? We still have to deal with this cake shop thing here. Mark for salvaging. You see, do you really want to march the cake for salvaging through scrapyard? The ruin will no longer be available for an expedition. There's still eight ruins of the map. Yeah, but we've already, like, we've already dealt with this already. Oh, we, oh, you know what? We have iodine. Ah, okay, cool. You know what? We could take care of this. Iodine, boom. This is somebody in there that's sick. And P.S. That has been alive and sick for like a hundred seasons. 
So, time is but a construct in the world of Endzone. It is, after all, a world apart. Maybe it's apart from what we deem reality. Hmm? Hmm? You didn't think about that, did you? <sighs> well, we don't know where to get sulfur from yet. Uh, but we do know that we need to go ahead and put some money into. Let's see, we got electronics. We get a wind turbine because electricity going. Um, or we can't get. Oh, we can't get the advanced workshop yet because we don't have the thing. Damn. Okay. Well, I guess wind turbine sounds good. Let's see, reliable power generator, but we don't have solar collectors. All that stuff, man. We got to do some more expeditions. Damn. We were on a roll doing all that scouting, but I guess I guess we should have stayed on it and just kept working with it. Let's go and get this started here because we're just gonna start amassing research, which we can use later. But right now, I want to just keep things um, moving. I think we should probably go ahead and look into first the staff. Three, seven, farmer, seat down, five, three, two, one, for reals? Five, three, okay, yeah, three, two, one, okay, cool. Um, so our food, we're, we're actually our food, it's funny, our food's not operating at 100%, but we're pulling in plenty of food for our, uh, our staffing needs. Still no militia, which is fine. Um, see, Taylor. What? No? Oh, because that just went to zero because somebody just, uh, passed or something. Okay. We have 32 kids coming up. 32. Decontamination post, you're, you're, you're max. Yeah, this one, can we raise this up? Let's raise this up a lot. Because it's going to need more. This one, too. Oh, cool. It's actually both. In that case, let's make it 100. Double it up. We have five. Five freshies. Teachers, researchers, uh, morticians. Uh, let's see, technicians. A couple there. Forestry, let me see. Yeah, I definitely need technicians because like, our tool supply keeps on running low. Our wood supply is kind of dwindling a little bit. Let's go and top that off, the foresters. Well, that, that could actually just be a um, an issue with the number of people that we have, period. Uh, Logistics-wise, though, I wonder if we should go ahead and start putting uh, market down. You know, you know. Tailor shop, mama market, probably under food. Oh no, no, it's gonna be under uh, logistics. Temporary store and water spout market. Yeah. Put this guy down here. It's good for the feng shui here. Probably that way. Um, yeah, close that gap. Oh no, actually, we'll move it over a little bit. We'll leave a little bit of a gap there. That lines up fairly nicely there. Fairly. Lots of sick folks, but the last time I panicked about fixed sick, sick, blah, 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 uh, sick folks, they uh, took care of themselves. Okay, minor ill, moderately severe illness. Okay, moderately severe. Okay, okay, okay. moderately severe. All right. So we have lots of medicine. We have very little coal. What's our deal with the coal? Like it's gonna go slower now because people are sick. Workforce folks. Let's top that off. There you go, six. Oops. We have lots of, yeah, we have, again, lots of kids growing up here. Let's go and top off our water, folks. We're gonna need logisticians. Two is not enough, by the way. That's just a start. That's only the beginning. There it is. We have a lot more coming. As long as, like, this illness doesn't, like, kill off a lot of people. <laughs> P.S. I feel like we're getting fewer droughts than... We used to? And I don't know why. We have four homeless. BTW. I think it's time to build another shelter. I don't know if I want to put it way over, way over here, though. Maybe another shelter right here. From across here from this? Would they be upset about that? <laughs> oh, we could, you know, we could afford to have them out there, but... Again, like, that's, that's a lot of walking. Let's go ahead and build it. There's a housing, there's a little shelter. And I think we could probably see their happiness, um... Here. Yeah, that's a positive happiness thing. Oh, cool. So there you go. Good. 
good, good, good. Minus four for these guys. What are they not like? Probably the expedition station, I think is what it was. We can actually fix that pretty easily. We could just put a... We should have done this a long time ago, because it's been like this for a long time. Let's put a pub right across the street. Oh. Oh, yes. We'll put a pub right here. They'll like that, right? <laughs> we check. Yeah, they're yeah, totally good. And then, you know, maybe what we should have, what we probably should have done. Pub's a little bit carried away, getting carried away, but we're going to leave it anyways. Um, put a flower bed. How much is a boost? Let's look at that. Plus three, plus three, plus one, plus eight. There we go. Nice. Facing out. Perfect. There you go, that'll be taken care of. And maybe a little bit for these guys over here too. Oh, eh, not really. Should be building gardens up the middle there. They don't have roads going out there. That's slowly eating away at our uh, transit time. Oh, you know what? Yeah, they kind of do, but they keep going behind the building. Maybe we should let them do that. I was planning on building stuff down the middle, but what? <laughs> but what, really? Let's see. Uh, housing, logistics, road. Oh, we'd have to build a paved road? Not yet. Okay. Must be unlocked. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, let's go ahead and give him a road here. We'll give him a little path here. And then we'll go ahead and build decorations. Put a little bit of hedges down here, right? Um, flower beds. Put a little flower beds. Like one. Or two. Three. Just like every three. That'll be perfect. This is like the backyard anyways. Oh, an accident occurred in the scrapyard. Oh, God. What happened? Luckily, no one died as a result, but damage to the building is some of the workers were injured, too. Uh, we're, like, really low on scrap, too. Are they are they actually running out? <gasps> okay. Well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Okay, so maybe now is a good idea to do the whole, let's relocate these folks. So they can work further out. Because look at all this out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference between moving their asses out there and, you know? Let's demolish the building. Which should happen very quickly. It's a bad building anyways, because something bad happened there. And then let's go ahead and build a road. They're getting started on it super fast. Let me see. We'll build a road that goes out. A hundred, a hundred meters or whatever that is. Yeah, our scrap is non-existent. But the people are happy. The radiation's at an all-time low. So then we'll put the scrapyard out here. I mean, it's just, this is a stretch, right? But I mean, look, they can just like boom, 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 all this stuff. All, I mean, there's a lot of stuff and they can just go boom, boom, back and forth. And then the people working here can go over here and grab it. That way we collect scrap faster. I don't know if this is the case. We'll have to, uh, once it's built, we'll have to kind of see what the pathing is. Also, we've been operating off of like one single scrapyard for a long time. Maybe it's time we upgrade that. You know? Especially considering. Oh, you need electronics to do that shit? Oh, dude, I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, everybody needs scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Hmm. I think we have... Let me see. What are we doing people-wise? We have six. Oh, man. Oh! Yeah. Okay, so let's go and put a couple here. Uh, pub keeper. Let's go and get a couple folks in there. Scrap collector. Yeah, put scrap... Well, they're, they're kind of out of a job right now, but we're going to put them down there. Uh, technician. We'll not, no, nobody else can do anything until we get uh, another scrapyard built. So, yeah, I think another scrapyard is definitely in order. And I think so we build off the back end here. Like this, basically. These scrapyards are it's basically portable, right? <laughs> it's essentially what's happening here. What is this? Cancel construction and then uh, build next. Yeah, yeah. Well, that should be... Build this one next. It's closer. There they go. There they go. How is this doing in terms of uh, people? <gasps> it's full. Wow, that was fast. That was really fast. Huh. Are they all full? I mean, 
No, actually, some of them are pretty low. So I think some folks maybe moved. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll probably just moved or something. I have to get these. Um, where are they going? Are they going to the, going to the market? The market has metal tools. Ah, see, so a lot lo, lo, the logistics folks are going to be the ones that are going to go back and forth and grab. Oh, they're not grabbing scrap, though. They're just grabbing tools. Hmm. We should still build a road out here, though. Either way, look, roads are are a necessary thing. There we go. Give me that. I wonder if they'll cut corners if I if I don't. Uh, let's see. Let's, maybe we should build a road that goes all the way around. You know, like I said, Lake Merritt. Lake Merritt. Drought incoming. Oh dang it! Messed it up. There. Maybe just to be nice, a little extra road, because they're gonna be working out this direction anyway. So. Okay. So how's this thing doing? I'll need scrap to build a scrapyard. <laughs> All right, Tass. Here we go. Gather scrap. We're going old school here. <clears throat> Not there. Are they actually they already got all the damn scrap from there. It was just 25, there's 25 scrap. Oh, there's a scrap pile. No, that's not how it works. Um, this will change field of work. Yes, we got all that scrap there. We need scrap that's closer. Is it possible? Do we have scrap that's closer? We've, we've cleared this out. We've been here for so long now. Yeah, that's hella far. Oh, but you know what? Um, no, that makes sense. Let's go from, just go get it out here. And then they'll just bring it back to here. Done. Let's see, we have eight people. Let's go put some folks in logistics. Scrap collector. Freeze that up some. Water is hurting a little bit. I think I think that's uh We straight up just need more water sources. We're at 150 people now, folks. It's gonna stabilize, like I said, but still. I think we need to build a rain collector. Um it's useless for the next four seasons though. <laughs> It is straight up useless for the next four seasons. I mean, we should take a look at it anyways. Let me see. Rain collector. Just, we just build the damn thing. See, I oh, need scrap. Ah, I need scrap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's build it anyways. Oh, damn it. We'll build it. It's like right across the street from this. Boom, next to each other? No, I can't do that. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a nasty spot, though. Let's cancel that. Cancel construction. Water tower or rain collector. Build these side by side. Oh, wait, did they put out a negative? No, no negative vibes here. What are you? What is it hitting? What is it upset about there on the front? Oh, weird. Oh, I can put it here though. Crisscross applesauce. Here we go. Road's getting built. This is getting built. Scrap, 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 scrap. What's going on? Scrap. Lots of people doing scrap. Are they running all the way back there instead of just dropping it off right here? Probably. Is there a lot of scrap in here? The 97% storage. Oh man, should I build another storeroom? Yes, I should. There's a lot of stuff going on over around here that I think that probably should happen. Wow, we're just building all kinds of stuff. Logistics, temporary storeroom, another one. Another one. There we go. Build that next, actually. God, you need so much scrap. Uh, yeah, replace building. New, new priority. I like that it asks you that, actually. It's really easy, especially when you get, I mean, we're getting to the point where we're getting bigger and bigger. Uh, we're going to start running out of um, brain power for what it is that we're actually trying to do on an operations level, logistics level. <sighs> Delicious water. What are we doing? No workforce? Por qué? Because we don't have one on workforce, because we've assigned everybody to things. Let's drop it down a little bit. Oh, never mind. We just got like a, another influx of a bunch of people. From what? Who just got unemployed? Is that really just like three people that just three adults that just showed up? And people are dying off. Okay, yeah, it looks like yeah, it is. Damn. The numbers are fluctuating wildly. And it's gonna get in insane. I mean, once we get like to like 250 people or something, like we're looking at like just huge, 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 huge dips. Uh 
and gains in people. Just numbers constantly moving. Don't get attached to anybody here. <laughs> no, no, no attachments, please. Okay, drought's coming up. Shitty water season, drought. Which is perfect timing. There's some rain coming here we can actually use. Yes, crap water, which means this is gonna get upset. Yep, 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 yep. We hit our 20,000 food limit, by the way. Our water is doing okay, but it's, uh... But we're just not, we've just been stabilized. Our production limit is 90,000 on that. How many kids? Okay, good. What happened here? Six settlers. Dude, not right now. So provide medical facilities and store herbs. I wonder if we actually just don't have enough... Look, visitors, 19 out of 50. We're good. Yeah, we have a top... We, this thing holds 50 people. We're totally good here. You don't provide... Okay, what are you going to tell me to do? Okay, good. Medical, medicine produce. Oh, man, we're totally good. And what does this mean? It means, uh... is reach. Cool, so that's done. Bingo. That should just, like... Just, just, that should just tick. Just tick. Just tick away. Here comes that drought. Here it comes. Sunday, here it comes. Sunday! <laughs> no human. Shut up. She ain't having it. Alright, drought time. Water source resources going down. Our people are back, by the way. Should keep an eye on this. So let's take care of the cake shop. We have the medicine now. Wait, do we have that? Let me check. It's not listed up here. Oh my god, joint? Fucking rad. We have 76 of them. Great. Good. Okay. Let's go to the cake shop. Let's see. Uh, with a tool and with the radiation suits. 76 of stock. Good. Can you get it? We can choose a person then choose it. There it is. Boom. Emily. Emily again. Emily just have to be our, uh, it's our person, I guess. Take whatever you need. Take like 10. You don't need 10, but just take 10. There you go. Done. And then we could cancel that and we could get a ton of scrap from that building right there. 200 scrap. Just chilling in our backyard. How is this doing, by the way? Hey, I figured <laughs> it hasn't moved. No power our way through this season. Scrap tool. I know the tools. Oh my god, it's so painful. So painful. People. The two. I mean, our fishermen aren't doing anything. Farmers are doing stuff. I figured the farm the, the farms would become completely in up, but I guess not. These things don't give a damn. Soy moisture dried out. Yeah, there's a there's a thing we can actually do that will uh, keep the the fields moisturized. <laughs> Moist. Uh, it just requires, you know. What are you missing here? Yeah, okay. Oh, in the immediate vicinity. For reals? Okay, hold on a second. She need to feel the work. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should change that. Definitely. Give him access to, like, all this stuff over here. I guess we don't need to have that. Let me see. It doesn't highlight the, uh, the things that are usable, but I'm certain this is probably all-encompassing right here. They managed to get everything else. Uh, I see a lack of tools. Maybe we got to. Okay. We got the other thing coming. What's one of the tools? Tools. Metal tool produced. Eee, that's going to be a bit of... That's a bit of pressure right there. Oh, this is close. This is really close. Oh, they're not going to get enough on... Four. There's only four nearby. And we're using these resources so, so quickly. That might be a tough one to get. Because we have to get the tools, process the scrap, get, get the scrap, process the scrap into metal, and then turn around and then make the tools themselves. So, this is a tough one. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, maybe that's going to be a hard one to, uh, to remedy here. We have four people that are actively on duty here, so... 40 scrap right here. We need to finish this yard. Six people available. Twenty-nine in the area. If it's the building, relocate source. Re relocating resources. Okay, fine. As long as they relocate into here, but nobody's pathing to this. 
So 150, that was the number I said last episode. 150 was kind of the goal. Are we, wait, do we have two, two seasons of drought? Back to back or something? Wait, did I just miss that? I thought, what the, I thought for sure that we just had one? That was a very long, maybe it was a very long season. I don't know about that. 15, it's built. Here we go. Change area. This whole bitch. <laughs> Start from the middle out. Look at the thousands. A thousand right here. Start like right. Yeah, like right here. I guess right here is fine. Um, they have a path leading there anyways, so that's good. So scraps coming in. Oh, sandstorm's coming. Do 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 sandstorm. We can probably get a couple more scrap here. Scrap workers. Let's see. Here this comes. Let's go put in the builders. We gotta fix stuff. Lots of stuff. What's going on with this thing? What is it? Building plans or technologies can be found here. Okay. Oh, I guess logistically it takes taking time to collect stuff. Oh yeah, look at this. Water. Oh, we went to the cemetery. Okay. Metal tool. Ah, metal tool radiation suit. That's right. I guess we didn't really need the metal tool, but everybody needs tools right now, so we're kind of hurting in that regard. Let's go ahead and cancel this. We just shook off that sandstorm, whatever. Oh, you know, I forgot to save. Let me save it here. Let's see, save game, save, 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 save game. Uh, I think it was like YT07, maybe? YT07? Actually, let's take a look and see. I try to save it after every, uh, what he has, 06. I try to save it after every episode that I record, because it just makes it easier to go back and get, like, thumbnails and stuff. My teaser. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the, the thumbnail for this, ep for this, this series is basically the, um, this, the centered on the town center, and constantly, you can see the constant evolution of the town center. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you, anybody <laughs> notice? <laughs> well, I've been trying, man. I can upgrade this. I'll upgrade that later. But we need technology anyway, so. I put, I put thought into this stuff, man. <laughs> Alright, so the water stuff's being built. It's covered right now, which is fine. But we'll have uh, plenty of water coming through there. We're hurting for water right now, but that's only because we just came out of a drought. Uh, we have scrap coming in from this. What are we setting at? 70 this current season. Last season was 140. And they're pulling it from... House Ruin hasn't been touched yet. It looks like they're doing the small stuff. Yeah, small stuff first, and they're going to get move in on that. How's this doing out here? We're active. We are active. There we go. Let's get out here and get some of this nonsense. Why are you walking? Why are you walking not on the road? Who are you? Ricardo. I'm so thirsty. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Yes. <gasps> okay. So, logistically, yeah, we should set up a water and food point out here because they're gonna walk back and forth getting water and food. Oh! Food station. Should put it out here or something. Oh uh, wait, does it? Um, oh, let me see. We should just continuously stock with food and consequently shorten the routes of food intake. Yeah, let's put it out here. Why not? I just, I I totally forgot about that. Poor bastards. Water station, and then again, this like log logistics persons will take care of that. We should just anything for these folks out here. We're probably losing a lot of time. That you know, it, what, it, that's something that we should look at. Oxygen Included has that. We have a research expedition about to happen. Um, but uh, Oni will tell us what our travel time is. Let me see: tools, power grid, storage, CSC, population, living space distribution. Yeah, uh, that's, that's a stat that I would love to see. I would love to see travel time. This is a key thing in Oxygen Not Included because it tells you if you're, if you're, the logistics of how your people get around is flawed. Let me see, um, travel? No. 
It's resources, but I forgot to try. Travel? No. Population travel? <laughs> travel? Commute? Commute? Yeah, huh. Game progress. Okay, well. Research technologies? Oh, I guess I'm doing pretty good in that. Fully cleared expedition locations? What? Zero out 28? Oh, okay, I guess I just have to get scrap or something. Uh, yeah, approved for demolition. No collectibles found. Man, I'm doing terrible in this game. Um, anyways, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so we have, uh, food going out. That's why someone, well, that person, there's no excuse for that person, these people walking back on there when there's a road. <gasps> oh, the road's not built? Yeah, it is. It's a freaking road! There's no excuse for anybody walking back like this. This is ridiculous. <sighs> why, why you do this? Do you want a row between these two? <laughs> will this make you happy? I bet it will. I bet if I do this. That'll solve the problem. Can I go right through the middle? No, of course not. It's a, whole, it's a whole damn shelter. That'll solve the problem. They'll, then they'll come down the road and then they'll go across. Man, these people. So needy. <clears throat> I think I think strictly because their entry point is... Are they going through it? Oh, they're going through it. They're shortcutting through it. Yeah. The road will probably solve this problem. Anyway, so food and store. Okay, food and water. Points on both locations. That'll save them on time. I know this, but I cannot see it. Oh! The scout was right. Warnings really have been posted everywhere. Yeah, we got- we know that part, yeah. Ah, delicious water. Damn it, keep your head down! We'll just fire off a shot on the windows. Yeah, the other options already been completed. Yep, continue. She's allowed us to come closer, but she's still aiming right at- Yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, options already been completed. Yes, complete. Or continue. Okay, so she's suspicious of strangers. If you missed this the earlier episode, she's suspicious because she's protecting her husband who's sick. And we finally came back with medicine. There you go. Bam. With our medicine, I think we can get this poor guy back on his feet again. Again, this guy's like a million years old now. Good thing. Like a plus, plus two settlers. One settler's happy. Uh, and no technologies. We got cake, though. <laughs> our resources of type cake. Oh, yay. <laughs> That's good, though, I guess. We found what? Literally like five slices of cake? The thing is, what's a cake shot? No idea what that is. Ha <laughs> what your recipes are like, right? Check it out, it's to be. It's called pound cake. I think we'll manage to make it and people might get a kick out of it. Alright, we did it. Nothing left to do. Okay, uh, back, back. And then loot and return. Just bring everything. We could carry it all, right? Look at that, of course we can. Loot and return, let's go! There is nothing pretty about the fate on the way to the two of them there. Maybe we ought to take a few precautions so that our food inventories aren't contained as well. Oh god. Oh god. What? It's already done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the engineers. The engineers finished. Ooh, just in time too. Well, oh, plenty of time. Oh, they want another decontamination outpost. Oh god. Really? Where? That's covered there. I mean, I'm so tightly packed in here right now. That's covered there. I guess, I mean, it's not even gonna... Hold on, if I change this over here, there's nothing even to cover over here. Oh, those buildings over there, hold up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. those buildings over there. <laughs> Alright, so those buildings over there need some help. I guess I'll probably warrant building another one. Decontamination. Let's see. Da, 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 resources. That doesn't seem right at all. Food, water, logistics, decontamination. Community decontamination <laughs> technology. It's not technology. Yeah, electricity. Nope. No nope. defense tasks. Remove radiation. Okay, hold on a second. What is it for reals? Logistics. Oh, oh man. Can I cannot put the shit in alphabetical order or something? No wonder. All right, this will solve this problem here. Done. Done. Are you happy now? What do I get? To what? Two, oh my god, I should let that fail. Ha ha ha, what's flying, I guess it's just, it's just, it's just stupid, because they're gonna move that to the farm, or to the storage room, and the storage room's gonna get decontaminated by the decontaminating people over there. So whatever. Your expedition has returned home, great. Let's mark this for salvaging, and that is now complete. It's gonna take forever to salvage, but still. Six people, 14 water carriers, get one up on that. Let me see, no, uh, more logistics, yeah, we need more logistics folks, for sure. We have uh, a lot, of, a lot more coming up. A lot more coming up. How are we doing over here, though? 
Wood, scrap, construction progress. It's crazy how much we're doing, and yet we're still skating by on the same tech that we've been cruising with for a while, you know? Like, we are... Yeah, we're just cruising on the same tech we've been doing for using for a while. We've gotten, what? Weather station, which let us use all your farms and all this stuff. But... We don't have power. We don't have... Let's take a look over here. Yeah, we don't have power. We don't have solar collector. We don't have pipes. We don't have upgraded workshop. We don't have coal mining. Like, we're still in tier one. Basically. We about maxed out tier one. But we're still in tier one. Still need electronics over here for this guy. What are we, like, doing great on? We're doing great on wood. We're doing great on medication. Great on cloth. Great on metal. Let's go ahead and... Uh-oh. What does he want for tribute? Ooh. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh, you know what? We could do the food. Oh, that's all of our food. <gasps> oh, man. Well, I think we have to just uh, refuse because, like, they want a lot. Like, they want a lot. See, decontaminate. We, we did make twice the de decontamination kits. Maybe we can get the water, though. We have 11,000 water. I can't give them all my damn water. Well, looks like you guys are about to get a show. I think the problem is I just don't have any, any scrap. Scrap would have moved it. Look, only 20 moved it that much. 500 would have taken it up so much. Well, you guess what? Do a thing. Try dancing around a bit. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we go ahead and build, what, uh, electronics so we could get the next stage because we need coal or, I don't know, we need, we need something. We need to mine sulfur. We need to get sulfur somehow. But right now, we, we can't do squat. We set militia out there with sticks. No, I'll probably just lose people that way. So what happens is, yeah, here they come. They're going to come through and they're going to do some damage. They're going to do some serious damage. Like, serious damage. Um... So we need to get the builders up, because that's gonna be the thing that's gonna that's gonna be the <sighs> damage already. Oh, they've already hit. Oh yeah, okay, they came through. They've completely destroyed this building. Yeah, so that building's probably completely in up, I believe. And then here they come to do more. Yeah. Yeah, nobody knows what to do. Let's watch them at regular speed for a second. They just come through, firing off. Walk through the market. You'll see the buildings start to take damage as they come through. Or maybe not. They'll still take stuff, though. So this is not, um, this is not done just because they're damaging buildings. But they'll take far less than what they, what they originally tried to take from us. So, let's get them out of here. Let's do a damage assessment. There we go. Lots of red. Lots of red. Black is, like, partially damaged. Uh, oh, no, black is destroyed. Okay, yeah, so red is damaged. So there we go. You can see the workers, the builders are already getting to it. The colors are flipping. Nice. So there's going to be an assessment. Here it is. You've got there. We'll come back again. That's a promise. So let's see. Destroy 12 buildings. Damage 50 buildings. We didn't use any ammo because we don't have any. They did manage to steal some stuff, but again, far less than what they could have. So yeah, nothing here. They took half the decontamination kits, which is fine. Um, <clears throat> took some ribs. Fucking suck for ribs. Yep, get out of here. Get out of here! Don't come back again! But you see, we're already up online over here. Already online over here. Partially damaged, it's still operable. 
So, hey, look at that. Hey, we got a show. We got a show. Did anybody die? Nobody died. Of course not. And there's a draw coming. <laughs> the game's trying to put up the pressure now. Bring it. Bring it. The post has been built. We kicked off producing new contaminant. I got two. It'd be best if we got going right away produce enough. What? Oh, sure, sure. Oh, we get 100% happiness? Yeah, okay. We just got, like, wrecked. But, you know. Let me see. Electronics. How we doing here? Uh, production limit. Two. Okay, so this, they're being made. They're probably going into, uh, immediately going into research. Yep, sure are. So the wind turbines are going to be built soon. So we can set those up. And hey, we'll have power! We'll have power! Woo woo! Yeah, no workforce. Again, if I put workforce out there with no ammo, they just wouldn't, they wouldn't, uh... Yeah, I don't know what they would do. Nothing, really. Just exposed. Uh, scrap. Scrap's coming out of this. Ah! So you're done. Well, you need what? You need, um... Oh, in the vicinity. Yes, yes, yes. We have to change this. It's all cooked food process. We all types of food. And you can take it from over here. And water. You take that from wherever you can get it. That's right. Perfect. I prefer to get it from closer locations here. There we go. Alright, so people will be working on that. I could put a well over here, actually, but... I mean, because we are going to expand out here, but that's that's a later thing. This is going to finish in just a second. We've got all those damn scouting outposts, and they've just been sitting here, just collecting dust. Yep, thank you. Uh, we have seven people that are homeless right now. It's because we are growing. We are a growing community. Um, I say just for the purpose of stabilization, we go ahead and just build another, uh, another shelter. There you go. Just take care of the old and the uh, non-production, non-production, non-producing folks. So we got a wind turbine now, warehouse, we can make a big warehouse, uh, improve radio mass, which we haven't really done anything with logistics trading and everything, anything like that. So that'll be something we're going to work on. Um, I say we just do this. I mean, it's not going to impact their happiness. It would say so, right? Let's do it. Wow, we're, we're getting a lot higher than I expected. Our water supply is not happy about that. No rain, contaminated rain, droughts, contaminated rain, water, water. Jeez. So we need to build a well. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. <laughs> we need to build a well. Why are you, why is there contaminated food here? They're pulling it from... That must be a temporary thing. Anyways, well. Because well water is not contaminated. Oh man, see how close it could get right there? Jeez. There's a gap there. Reaches was performed on new technologies. That's what I like to see. Industrialist. Ooh, and this is... Uh... I have more than 40 production buildings. Oh, wow. I saw that before and I was like, wow, that seems like a lot. I guess not. We have one more. It's a loitering ban, so productivity should be up. Um, well, it looks like we have no choice. Let's go and throw it into another warehouse. How's our expedition folks doing right now? Scouts, the expedition window. <clears throat> Combine harvester. I guess we just start scouting more, but I still think we should go to buildings that look like they might have some kind of scientific... Oh, look at this. Ooh, this looks interesting. Send a scout. They'll make their own rations, do all that stuff. Shelter's gonna get built, it's gonna hold anybody. There's 11 people that are homeless right now. Water is doing okay. More wells would be better. This well is going to come up in a moment. We're going to need somebody else to work that shift, though. Wells. Well operator. Well keeper. Water boy. Lots of builders. So, yeah. this Anything I want to build is going to get built quickly. Yeah, yeah. This is built just recently, so. Yeah, you get from the well and all that. Right down here. And you. 
<clears throat> all types of food you could pull it from. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of cool. These eat like meat and uh, whatever's in these two areas. Sure. This is market doing? Not a lot of uh, logistics, folks. There we go. We, s we still need more, obviously, but... Oh, and also contamination. Hmm. 25. Uh, we're about to get another one there, so that's gonna go 2 to 3 in a minute. I'll put the last one in here. Go and drop some of those, just to keep that number floating. The drought's coming up, so this is gonna be... Should be fine. Here we go. So let's see, uh... So, hey chief, I wasn't aware we were so close to this coordinate, to the coordinate, but one of the other end zones is here. Looks like it's taking a pretty good beating. But I didn't want to risk getting closer either. You think we could send an expedition to here? Technician badge. Okay, so technician, we have, um... Yeah, we have plenty of those folks. Let's see, so it's, yeah, we're gonna take metal tool and radiation suits, cellar badges. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Take like three of them. Uh, people with uh, suits that we don't have to go and get the suits. I believe that's how it works. Uh, oh, not two people from the same profession though. One water person, one person that takes care of coal, and then uh, that's probably sufficient. And then we'll give them lots of points. Okay, yeah, basically what we have available should be good. Hopefully that yields something. Where are we at? We're starting our drought. Expedition's gonna take forever. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a minute. It's next that's the next episode thing. <laughs> that's the next episode thing. I'm excited though. Let's go and let's go do a survey where we're at right now. So we have uh, contaminated stuff here. We have <laughs> well, they got it from here though! Uh, actually, that might be the problem is we're getting from here, and that's contaminated. Let's go ahead and change this range. Yeah, let's not include that field. That field is constantly churning out issues here, so let's do it like this. There you go. That way they're not pulling out pulling from here. I thought this would get covered whenever it was, um, whenever there was, like, rain coming in. And honestly, that might be something we have to watch out for. If we end up seeing, uh, contaminated rainfall coming, we should go and tell it to cut down the trees or harvest now. And just be done with it, right? For the season. Um, but yeah, I thought that they would cover that. But it's just the fields, apparently. Um, let me see. So yeah, we have water coming in, which is great. We have another well. And actually, you know what we should do? We should just do this. There we go. That takes that solves that problem. Because um, I don't think they could drink directly from this. It has to go to a water point. I could be wrong, though. Um, I think I am wrong, actually. We could kill this. Because they could drink right from the water point. <laughs> who's who's working this right now? What are you doing? Uh, workers, Brandon fetches something, fetches something. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I am incorrect. We don't need this guy here at all. Cool. So that takes care of that. Um, more assessment. This guy is like, what? where's the water at? Oh, there's plenty of water. What are you looking for? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of water. He's fine. It's, that's weird. That's a weird, that's a weird, weird. Let's uh, see, from cistern, from water towers, from wells, and from rainwater collector. So yeah, there's plenty of options right here. That's a weird one. Maybe something that will correct itself in a moment. Uh, food. Should be food actually here right now? Yes, there sure is. And that means this should be more pro productive. Uh, yeah, look, two seasons ago it was at 30. Last season was 88, so I believe it's already having an impact here um, on productivity. We are about to finish the season. It's going to be a low season, it looks like, uh, going into the drought. And let me see. Yep, potential. Okay, good. Good. Hunter's Lodge. Um, we're cruising on wood. We're cruising on wood. We gotta find that technology though, so we can upgrade and get the. Um, we're, we're researching a warehouse right now, right? Aren't we? Oh, it needs the wood. Okay. Hold on a second. Do I? Hold on a second. No, no, no. Click start. Um, but yeah, we need to get that tier two, so that way we could get. You know, sci whatever the science stuff is. And I have a feeling this end zone thing might be the answer. This end zone thing that we're expeditioning right now. There's an expedition prepared, yeah. I think that might be the solution, right? We get into whatever this, I mean, it's, it's the name of the game, right? So maybe maybe this is like how it unlocks the next tier of stuff. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited to, to explore this, actually. So next episode, thank you so much for watching.
Love you guys. Sunday, say goodnight. <laughs> she says nothing. <laughs>